Hey everyone, Eloise here showing you how quick and easy it is to get going with your favorite MIDI controller and the Beatport DJ web app. If you head into dj.beatport.com with your controller plugged in, you'll be able to see pretty quickly if it's one of our pre-mapped controllers. This one here, the DDJ400 from Pioneer is already mapped. If you need to add mapping or adjust mapping at all, you just head over here and then down to the MIDI section. <clears throat> you can see here, you can select which MIDI controller you want to map or want to use, if depending on what you've got plugged in. And then you can adjust all these parameters here. You can see there's a ton of things here. You just click the set button and then push the button or move the knob or slider on your controller and that will attach it to that parameter. So now we can get going. You can see already, I can scroll through tracks. Boop, 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 boop. I can load them up. I'm going to load this one up on this side and this one on the right side. I can use my fader and get playing. I can scroll through. We can set hot cues and delete them easily. We can do beat loops. We can halve the loop, release it, um, change the pitch, key lock. FYI is also in the settings if you want that to not change, the key to not change when you change the tempo of your track. The EQs are working, filter of course. We have some instant effects, slicer, reverb, all sorts of bits and pieces to play with, which is quite cool. So yeah, you can see that's all working, crossfader. Do -do 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 -do, as you'd hope. And now let's get this one going. I'm gonna scroll through to the first main kick here and release it with my jog wheel. And because we've got beat sync turned on, which you can turn on and off here, that's already in on the one. I'm gonna maybe mix in with the bass. There we go. on both sides. Maybe I'm going to do some loops to fade this one out. Bit of an unconventional mixing technique, but there you go. You can see it's all working perfectly. Um, you might want to go through and use some acapellas and add hot cues or jump things in and out. Um, yeah, just a really, really fun way to get started. That's it from me today. Have fun messing around with your controllers and I'll see you next time.